In a previous video, I showed how to align and justify the grid items. You can also align and justify the tracks themselves, assuming that you've got additional space in your grid container. To demonstrate this, I've got a grid here and I've actually set a width and a height on the grid container. So it's 700 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. And then I've created some columns and I've got three 150 pixel columns, which obviously adds up to less than the 700 pixels of width. And so the columns are sat in the top left corner. The auto rows are also 100 pixels. So again, the combination of these rows is shorter than the height available. And the border here shows the grid container. To justify the tracks, we use justify content and we can say end or center or the default which is start and then on the block axis we can use align content and again you could use end and you could use center or the default which is start so if you wanted the tracks to be dead center, we'd just set both of these to center. So here we're just pushing around our grid uh, inside the container. Now, if you've used Flexbox, you'll be aware that there's a different value for justify content, that of space between or space around, these keyword values that allow you with a flex container to space the items out equally. Now you can use this with grid layout as well. So you can say space between and we can do the same for a line. Now you can see something interesting here. We've got a grid gap on our grid. We've said grid gap 20 pixels, but of course, as soon as we've said space between, it's that gap has ended up spread it out. So we've now got a much larger gap than the 20 pixels that we specified. And something else is happening. You can see that these boxes, these were all set to be 100 pixels tall with the auto rows. And of course, this now is much more than the expected 100 pixels plus 100 pixels for this track and the 20 pixels of the gap, because we've got this extra gap and this element spans over it. So that's something you'd need to be aware of. The actual containers are going to get larger. The items on the grid are going to get larger uh, when you span over tracks if you're using space between. And you can see exactly the same happening with box one, which spans column tracks. This is essentially the gap, and it's spanning over that to span the two tracks. And we can also use space around, just as you do with Flexbox. And then you get an equal amount of space all around each item. So on the ends, you get this sort of half sized space. And that's just the same as Flexbox, except we're working in two dimensions.